Yo, what is up YouTube? Xavier Elon here. Today I'm going to be going over combinations. It's a medium backtracking problem on Leak Code. I started a Slack channel where I post uh, daily Leak Code problems and we discuss them. Um, the, the invite to that channel is in the description. And lastly, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post daily videos. And let's get to the problem. Okay, so the description reads, given two integers, n and k, return all possible combinations of k numbers. So k is representing the amount of numbers the uh, array holds out of 1 through n. So n is, um, they want us to, you know, 1 through 4, so find all the combinations for that. Um, I think that's a pretty easy description. They just, like, explain it in one sentence, which is awesome. So this is a backtracking problem. We're basically going to... Um, backtrack through recursion um, recursion in itself is hard I just tried to record this video um, drawing rec the recursive stack on my whiteboard and yeah it didn't work I don't know how to an easy way to draw the recursive stack um, on the whiteboard I kind of just have to it's in my head but I can't do it on the whiteboard I don't know so anyways I'm just going to Go through the debugger i think it's a lot easier because it keeps track of all the variables for you guys to see so um the first thing is we see we um, need to return a double list so let's create that and answer i'm going to use a linked list because i can just remove from the back which is needed for the um <clears throat> backtracking so the base case is if k is zero then we just need to return a empty list. Um, so we need to add a empty array first. Otherwise, why? And then let's just return answer. Um, and the other thing is we're going to call our backtrack function. So. <clears throat> Uh, in our backtrack function, we're going to have recursion. So let's just write it out. It's not going to return anything. So void, and let's call it backtrack. So we're going to have the start where we're going to start for the combinations, which is going to be one in this case, because they want us to start at one. Um, yeah, they say, yeah, one to end right there. And then we just want to pass in a linked list. Um, I believe it's a, a new link to list. Yeah, okay. So let's pass that into the perimeter. And then we just want to do n and k. And we want to pass in our double list of answer. And this is getting really long. Okay, so that's all the parameters we need. Um, <clears throat> first thing we want to do is current is going to be used to for the single list um, answers the whole thing. So we want to check if um, the size in current is equal to K, then we're going to add it to the answer. Uh, so answer dot add and we want to we need to do a deep deep copy so we're gonna pass in a new linked list of current if we just do current it's a shallow copy it's a it's a reference so it, it's gonna be changed throughout the um, throughout the program because we're using recursion it's gonna be constantly updated so we need to do a deep copy which is like its uh, values are staying in place um so that and then let's just do our for loop and we're going to do i equals start so we're starting at one and i is less than or equal to n so i can't be greater than n um that's the combinations they want us to give and then this just saves us a little time if current dot size is less than while current dot size is less than k we don't as soon as we reach k we don't want to iterate through anymore um, if you don't have that, it'll um, <clears throat> it'll loop through like it'll add try adding four numbers into the a single array. So 
just saves us time. And so the first thing we want to do is current add i. We're just going to add i. So the first time it's just going to add one. And we're going to have one as the first element. And then we're going to call our recursion, our backtrack function. So we're going to do i plus one because we need to update i. We need to do all combos. Um, then we have to pass in current n k and answer. And then finally, we're going to want to remove the last. So this is when we kick out of the recursion, um, <clears throat> we want to remove the last number. So it allows us to try. This is the backtracking part. Um, it's backtracking. It's going to kick out the number and then try the new combos. So I think this should work. Oh, I didn't fill this one in. And int k and answer. Dot class expected. Oh, you know what? I don't have a. I'm not sure what is going on. Oh, I didn't. Um, oh, this is. I wasn't supposed to pass an int. Cool. Okay, so let's submit it, make sure it works before we debug it. And now the debugger, I'm going to start it at the for loop. Okay, so we, we're starting at one. So we're starting here, i equals one. Um, it's gonna tell us i equals one in a second. And we're gonna add it to current. So current one, we're gonna add one to current. <clears throat> and then we're gonna recursively call, except i is gonna equal two. And so i equals two. And we're gonna add two to it. And then we're going to call function again, and we're going to see that the current dot size equals k. So we're going to add it to answer right here. And then it's going to um, see that the current dot size is equal to k, so it's not going to execute the for loop. It's going to basically, we have the recursive stack, it's going to kick the last function that we just called off the stack. So we're going to end up at remove current dot remove last. So it's going to re remove two. And <clears throat> So now it's going to increment i to. That's my dog at the door. Hold on. Sorry, that was my dog, Flocka. And so where were we? Um, i equals 3. So we're just going to add 3 to current. So it's going to be 1 and 3. And then it's going to recursively call. And then it's going to add 1, 3 to answer. It's going to want to remove. It's going to. Um, kick the last function off the the stack and i is going to it's removes three and now i is four and it adds four and so on and then the next part i want to want you guys to see is that the <clears throat> where the function for this one is still on the stack as well as the four um, so it's going to remove four and then it's going to uh, so we removed four, and now it's going to remove one. Um, so I hope you guys can see that on the recursive stack. I have trouble drawing it out. I have to do it in my head. I don't know how to make it easy for you guys to see that. So the, um, <clears throat> I believe it's just uh, the run times O of N. Actually, no, it's not O of N. I'm tripping, because we have to do, um, this is the factorial, so it's like n over n minus k, n factorial. So it's this crazy um, function, because we have to do every single permutation, basically. Um, so that's that. And the same for the... Uh, the space is the exact same because because um, we have to store all those possible combinations so that's that um, i hope this video helped if it did hit that like button 
Industry. I was from Chedro Girl. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.